Hey, sorry. I just read your story and I have a few questions. Sure. Okay, uh, number one, this whole debate as to whether a country should sort of uh, sink money into the economy or or make a whole bunch of cuts to yeah. boost the economy. Have, haven't uh, economists been arguing that, like, forever? Yeah. I mean, that's one of the biggest issues is this debate's been going on for hundreds of years and there's still no consensus about it. And one of the issues is they haven't even decided, you know, um, what's the cause and effect here? Uh, does cutting uh, government spending, does that create growth? Does growth allow for governments to spend? Uh, when you, when you uh, spend, does that help boost your economy or does that hurt your economy in the long run? I mean, these are debates that have been going on forever and, and they're, they're nowhere near settled. And what makes it all the more confusing, at least for me, is that there are uh, success stories on both sides. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, people who uh, say that you need to cut in order to, to, to spur growth will point to Canada in the 1990s. Right. Um, and they'll say, look, uh, here was a government that made some difficult decisions. They cut the budget a lot. They cut the civil service. And the economy took off. And then on the other hand, uh, you'll have, uh, their critics will say, well, look, the economy was already growing. Uh, our biggest trading partner, the U.S., their economy was booming. And that led us to make a lot of tough decisions that we couldn't make in the midst of a global recession. And then on the, on the other hand, you can look at the U.S. now, yeah. which had a, a really terrible recession um, and, and spent its way through that period and has come out. Their unemployment numbers are getting better. Their economic growth is getting better, a lot better uh, and a lot faster than is in Europe where they didn't make, uh, you know, they didn't spend quite as much. Um, but at the same time, the critics will say, well, look, they're just kicking the can down the road. They're saying that you're putting off decisions um, that, that future generations are going to have to make. Okay, so do you take a stand personally on either side? No, I don't. I mean, you can see uh, how difficult it can be to disentangle this debate with your own feelings about sort of the role of government in society. Um, you know, it, does government help people by spending, or does government crowd out the private sector by spending? I mean, those are those are tough and very ideological issues. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, um, th this uh, uh, there's been a, a big backlash against austerity right now and that's what's in the news and, and they make a very convincing argument against yeah. it but yet you're only looking at a few years right now it's a very short term so I feel like this is one of these debates that we can look back on in maybe a hundred years um, and maybe then we'll know if we if we did it right or not or maybe then we'll still be discussing about you know whether whether cuts cause growth or whether growth caused uh, cuts and and so on I mean I think this debate is gonna be going on Need some uh, time yeah so we'll meet back here in a hundred years sounds good okay great Thanks. Thanks.